Hey, what about Major Kong? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most rewatched movie deaths. Marvin, what do you make all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. For this list, we'll be looking at any character deaths which have reached epic and iconic cultural status and why viewers love to watch them over and over. Of course, a spoiler alert is in effect. Which movie character do you think went out with a bang? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. T-800 Terminator 2 Judgment Day Widely considered among the best sequels ever, this movie comes to a heartbreaking conclusion. I'm no! sorry, John. I'm sorry. No, it'll be okay. Stay with us. It'll be okay. The T-800 spends the movie protecting John and Sarah Connor, completing his objective by the end. After realizing his technology can be reverse-engineered to restart the possibility of an apocalypse, the T-800 decides to terminate itself. No. There's one more chip. And it must be destroyed also. It leads into a touching farewell with John, as the bond between the two allows T-800 to understand human emotions. I order you not to go. I order you not to go. I order you not to go. I know now why you cry. But it's something I can never do. As he ends up giving his life, T-800's decision is a masterclass in cinema, demonstrating the bravery that comes with sacrifice. It's also seen as the peak for the Terminator series, highlighting the way we're encouraged to feel for the death or demise of a machine. I face it for the first time with a sense of hope. Because if a machine, a Terminator, can learn the value of human life, maybe we can too. His final thumbs up remains an iconic parting moment. Number 9. Quint Jaws Sometimes watching the final moments of beloved characters is the best way to pay tribute. Fans of Jaws deeply respect Quint, an absolute badass in the fight against the killer shark. Until he bites you, and those black eyes roll over white, and then... Ah, oh, then you hear that terrible high-pitched screaming. The ocean turns red. Quint and Hooper are the protagonists who manage to survive till the climax, but Quint's luck runs out when the shark escapes the cage. While it's a worthy death for a fighter such as him, it's still a reminder that anyone can die, as his final moments are as brutal as they come. <laughs> the scene also gained notoriety for being the perfect representation of what viewers expect from the franchise. Pure, jaw-dropping horror. Plus, we like to wonder if Quint could have survived if there was a bigger boat. That's a 20-footer. 20 25. Three tons on them. You're gonna need a bigger boat, right? Number 8. Hans Gruber, Die Hard Hans Gruber takes the entire Nakatomi Plaza hostage to claim an enormous ransom. And when Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. <laughs> but he doesn't account for John McClane's presence who eliminates Han's goons one by one. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. A security guard to be missed. Their personal antagonism throughout the movie sets up for the high-octane finale. Gruber's demise is preceded by some witty banner between the two enemies that leads to Han's precariously dangling. Happy trails, Hans. <laughs> His death scene is a fan favorite because of its nail-biting suspense, as it seems like Hans will take John's wife with him to his death. Hans' reaction is what completes the moment, due to actor Alan Rickman's genuine surprise. Well, I hope that's not a hostage. Rickman was let go before his cue to get an authentic shot of his expression, and it certainly looks like he's about to meet his maker. Number 7. Paul Allen 
American Psycho. Christian Bale's upper-class banker Patrick Bateman is so taken with material value that he develops a resentment for his co-worker, Jared Leto's Paul Allen, because Paul has a seemingly better business card and a reservation at a high-class restaurant. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. Fooling Paul to accompany him to his home, Patrick goes on a rant about the artistic merits of Hip to be Square and acts like a complete goof. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. Hey, Albert Strim. Yes, Alan? Why are there copies of the style section on the play? Do you it's all a ploy to drug Paul, though, following which Patrick hacks his rival to his demise. The scene is a deeply disturbing blend of horrifying and funny. Because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! Ah! It's also entertaining to watch Christian Bale absolutely lose it. Of course, contemporary audiences mostly watch it because it's as if Batman just killed the Joker. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Uh, <laughs> uh... Great tan, Marcus. I mean, really impressive. Where do you tan? Salon. I've got a tanning bed at home. You should look into it. Number six, Donald Gennaro, Jurassic Park. He's gonna eat the goat? Excellent. What's the matter, kid? You never had lamb chops? I happen to be a vegetarian. The Jurassic Park experience is all about appreciating the beautiful cinematography, larger-than-life characters, and all the dinosaurs that eat humans. The first movie needed a death with significant impact to set up the feared T-Rex, and Donald had to be the one. Boo! Hey, where did you find this? In a box under my seat. Are they heavy? Yeah. Then they're expensive. Put them back. The T-Rex's arrival changes the tone of the movie, moving from a sense of adventure into absolute horror. Gennaro's abandonment of the kids ultimately catches up to him, as fate serves him on a platter to the hungry dinosaur. This moment is an iconic piece of the series because of the establishing shot of the T-Rex bearing down upon its victim. It leaves no doubt of the danger the characters are in and does justice to the movie's entertainment value. I think this was Gennaro. I think this was too. Number 5. Tony Stark, Avengers Endgame With Thanos initiating the Battle of Earth, all the heroes fight for the fate of the universe. Avengers! Assemble. Ultimately, it's Tony who needs to find the grit and heart to sacrifice himself to save everyone else. And I am Iron Man. The Marvel Cinematic Universe would never have taken off without Tony Stark, and he deserved a heroic death. It's how he went out, with Tony putting an end to Thanos and getting a last chance to say goodbye to his family. Look at me. We're gonna be okay. You can rest now. While the MCU has doled out major deaths like Black Widow's, Tony's demise spelled the end of an era, and it's fitting to rewatch to honor the hero's sacrifice. What am I even tripping for? Everything's gonna work out exactly the way it's supposed to. I love you 3,000. There's also the fact that his eulogy is heartwarming and heartbreaking in equal measure. Number 4. Mufasa, The Lion King the Lion King is a classic not just because of the story, but for its deeply poignant themes. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. Simba's uncle Scar sets him up to be killed by a stampede, and his father arrives to save his son. Unfortunately, Scar betrays his brother as well, coldly sending him to his doom. Long live the king. An entire generation of children associate Mufasa's passing with the concept of death. Mufasa's death shatters both Simba's and viewers' hearts, 
as Simba must watch his beloved father fall. Dad, come on. You gotta get up. Dad. You gotta go home. A guaranteed tearjerker, fans can't help but return to this scene to feel a genuine surge of emotions. If there's any consolation, Mufasa at least went out proving himself to be a wonderful father. Number 3. Marion Crane, Psycho I hope they are watching. They'll see. They'll see and they'll know and they'll say, why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. There's never been a death scene as definitive to the horror genre as this. An A-list star, Janet Lee as Marion Crane, was expected to be the lead role of the movie. Cabin 1. It's closer in case you want anything. Right next to the office. I want sleep more than anything else, except maybe food. Well, there's a big diner about 10 miles up the road, just outside of Fairvale. Am I that close to Fairvale? Psycho starts off staying true to this expectation, only for Marion to meet her doom with most of the film still remaining. The death is particularly interesting for the way it's shot, as Marion's last moments play out in a bone-chilling but hazy manner that confuses as much as it shocks. <laughs> Movies in that genre have since repeatedly replicated the shock value that Psycho first introduced, but there's nothing quite like the original impact that Marion's demise delivers. When he met your sister, he was touched by her, aroused by her, he wanted her. That set off the jealous mother, and mother killed the girl. It remains a must rewatch for any horror fan. Number 2. Jack Dawson, Titanic. Rarely has a fictional death brought in so many arguments over the matter of physics. Rose and Jack's love story reaches a heartbreaking conclusion when the pair are part of the Titanic's destruction. The ship is going to suck us down. Take a deep breath when I say. Kick for the surface and keep kicking. Although the two attempt to board a piece of the ship to save themselves, they realize it cannot accommodate both of them. Stay on, Rose. Ever the chivalrous hero, Jack sacrifices himself to save Rose, and she must let him go. This moment seals the emotional impact of the movie, with the star-crossed lovers torn apart. I'll never let go. I promise. It also has massive replay value, as many fans watch again and again, seeking a loophole where Jack could have been saved along with Rose. But now you know there was a man named Jack Dawson, and that he saved me in every way that a person can be saved. Jack's rewatchable death scene ultimately contributes to Titanic's status as an all-time classic. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few other movie deaths that you want to rewatch again and again, but we just couldn't fit them in the list, so here's some honorable mentions. Ellie Fredrickson, Up. Way to break our hearts in one montage, Pixar. Sonny Corleone, The Godfather, because there's no kill like Overkill. <laughs> Russell Franklin, Deep Blue Sea. No one expected Sam Jackson would get his concentration broken this way. We're going to pull together and we're going to find a way to get out of here. First, we're going to seal off this room. Thomas Kane, Alien. Now that's one nasty stomach issue. <laughs> Wicked Witch of the West, The Wizard of Oz. Because who among us hasn't tried to act out this line? I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world, what a world! Who would have thought a good little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Greedo Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope 
The easiest way to make some Star Wars fans angry is to claim that Greedo shot first. Yes, Greedo. As a matter of fact, I was just going to see your boss. Tell Jabba that I've got his money. Song Pichare. It's a pop culture phenomenon for the way it's become such a hotly debated topic. The original scene showed Han shooting Greedo mid-sentence, which many consider true to his character. Over my dead body. Yes, I bet you have. However, remastered versions show Greedo shooting first, which indicates Han just got lucky when he shot back in self-defense. The differences in the two versions make Han's character look strikingly different, and fans have analyzed the moment relentlessly over the years. Sorry about the mess. Greedo's death has been edited so many times to justify the change that it's more of a running gag by now. This death even tops Palpatine's dramatic apparent demise in Return of the Jedi. No! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.